Hey everybody and welcome to another electric van man review. Today we have got the world record holding electric e daily. And if you like these videos, then please do like and subscribe for all the details on all the vehicles that are coming to market with the electrification. But with that in mind, let's get on and learn a little bit more about the electric e daily. First of all, I love the livery that these demonstrator models of the Aveco have come with all of this uh, graphical representation of electrification. It's great, but it is an imposing clamshell bonnet, a nice tidy grille, the charge points here in, in the middle, which we'll come on to in a bit. And of course, we've got the step up to being able to clean our windscreen. Now this windscreen is heated, so we're able to uh, clean that in the winter, um, but my favourite bit is the registration number. That's one I want, EV van. So the model we have today is the 72 electric E daily. What that means is it's a 7.2 ton van. And that means that you cannot drive it on a standard driving licence. I'm having grandfather rights being over a certain age. I'm able to drive this vehicle. But if you've just got B on your driving license, you won't be able to drive this vehicle. Also, you would need an operator's license um, and a certificate of professional competency and all of those good things to be able to run this in your business. All of that said, I think it's a striking beast. And this is a vehicle that seems to be interesting for people looking to move away from the traditional seven and a half ton van or truck and move into a more van-like environment. It's more comfortable for the drivers. And I know from personal experience, this vehicle is incredibly maneuverable, which of course is a significant advantage on the seven and a half ton truck. So it being said that it is van-like and it is a van, there is still some pretty truck-like solidity in this vehicle and not least at the back here. So let's go around and check that out. So as you can see, this has a body that is absolutely huge. It's 20 cubic meters. Not only is it 20 cubic meters, but being a 7.2 ton van, you're able to get 3,000 plus kilos in the back of that. That's three tons to you and I. Now I've been driving around with 500 kilos it drives like they're not there to be fair. And you can do a multitude of different conversions. And this conversion here is built with lightweight recyclable material, which is helpful because it's written on the side so I don't have to try and remember that sort of thing. And there's also a lot of other great stats on the side here. Onboard EPTO power up to 15 kilowatts. Now that is powering the tail lift as we speak and we've got an eight year class leading 155,000 mile battery warranty and also four years connectivity and that includes the telematics. So this vehicle comes with quite a package. So this body that has been uh, procured by Aveco for the use of this demonstrator is by Bodywork Solutions. But let's get into it, uh, lowering the Delandia full closure tail lift um, through the functionality here at the back. Now, um, we can tell right away that it is a 1,000 kilo or one ton um, pay, uh, tail, load, uh, tail lift, <laughs> tail lift, we'll get there. Um, so you lower it with using two hands and obviously that's a, a big safety feature. And then just simply lifting that and dropping the tail lift and on we get. And of course it can even carry me because I'm not quite a ton. Um, we've also got that little functionality there and the, the handle then to close it when, uh, the, when the time comes. And of course you need to shut this before you shut this. And then up here into the 20 cubic meter body. And um, I can operate the tail lift from here of course. Um, or can I? Maybe I can. Yes, there we go, of course I can. So that allows you to get your goods in and out. Um, 
but also interestingly, and maybe you can come a little bit closer. Come on in, come on camera person. In you come, up you get. We've got a little light that's come on. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but up above here, this is a GRP roof, which translucent, lets lots of light in. But obviously as the light's fading towards the end of the day, we've got a nice LED light here. But up above, we've got solar. So the tail lift that is being operated is, draw, is being powered, really, the, the auxiliary batteries are being powered by the solar power there, which means that the traction battery, the big battery underneath, doesn't have to work so hard to power those batteries. And that could equate to maybe 10 or 15 or 20 miles range added to your daily operation. That's great news, isn't it? But anyway, let's lower the camera person down. There you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. So here at the front is always a really good place to talk about the electric charging uh, statistics or the general electric statistics. Now, one of the things I really love about the Aveco is that it has um, 37 kilowatt hour batteries, but they're in sort of packs, if you like. So this one has got 111 kilowatt hours of battery, 105-ish usable, so you lose two per pack, um, just to be safe, to protect the battery, to enable you to get that really great class-leading warranty. But you can also add or take away a battery, up to four batteries and down to one battery, um, depending on what you need. Now, you wouldn't really want to operate this with you might get away with two batteries, but three batteries would be uh, probably the optimum because you've got the mixture of weight and also then the distance that you can go. So they reckon on something around two miles per kilowatt hour. Now that might be less with a full load because this is a 7.2 ton truck. So that is really for the three and a half to four and a quarter ton truck. This one being a little bit heavier and obviously the aerodynamics of the vehicle all make a difference. So testing it in real life is exactly where you want to be if you're going to choose something like this and are concerned that the range might be close. The official range of the Aveco e daily at 7.2 tons is 112 miles fully laden with the 111 kilowatt hour battery. Of course, on the smaller vehicles, the 3.5 ton and the 4.25 ton, you can expect to get significantly better range than that circa the 200 miles that we alluded to. So make sure that the vehicle is suitable for you. But the uh, charging is here at the front. You have uh, 11 kilowatts AC as standard. So in a workplace like we are in around here, like a trading estate, you will find that most businesses have three phase electricity, which will give you 11, but it could also give you 22 kilowatt AC charging. Now this vehicle is equipped with that. Now this has an optional 22 up, uh, kilowatt upgrade. And then we also have DC charging, which will charge you up to 80 kilowatts. That gives you a significant boost in a relatively short space of time. One of the things that manufacturers often do is also put mm -hmm. a little button just yeah. down here to um, release the charging cable. So if you're not sure and something's not working, hit the button and that will release the charging cable for you and you'll be able to get on about your business. One feature I like is this hand grip to get me in. So once you're in the cab of the Iveco e Daily, it feels like a very familiar and solid place to be. Very comfortable seat. This one's air adjustable. That's not standard as a feature across the range, but it is on this model. And of course, we've got the armrest, um, the steering wheel, solid, all the equipment that you would expect on the steering wheel, such as cruise control and the controls for your phone and your radio and so on like that. Also adjustable for reach and for rake. Um, so you're able to get your ideal driving position. Obviously the indicators and windscreen wipers down here on the back. And of course, um, a trusty gear lever. I think I prefer a gear lever than a switch. I don't know what you think. But there's also adjustable modes. So you can have an eco mode, a power mode and a normal mode. 
The power mode, of course, giving 400 newton meters of power delivered. And there's even a power boost system to allow you to really uh, pull the, the weight that we, this vehicle can carry. Um, and also, of course, the towing. And you can deliver all of that power for just a couple of minutes to get you out of difficult situations. We've even got Alexa in this vehicle, uh, coupled to a nice infotainment system. And of course, you can connect your devices to that to give you things like sat-nav and Apple CarPlay and so on. Air conditioning to keep you cool. A tachograph, uh, if you're driving this for a business, you would need to do that because this is a 7.2 ton vehicle and you need to use it under an operating license. And also, if you're not as old as I am, then you might need um, the specific driving test that would allow you to drive a vehicle of this weight. So as I've mentioned, this vehicle is a 7.2 ton vehicle, but it can also tow 3,500 kilos. So you've got great carrying capacity in excess of three tons, and also you've got great towing capacity in excess, well, exactly three and a half tons. So. It is really, really impressive. And what I'm aware of with this vehicle is that no matter what the load is, it is coping with it extremely well. I love that despite it having 140 uh, kilowatts of power, which is nearly 200 brake horsepower, it still delivers that power really evenly and very carefully. So it's just very strong not all about scrabbling for the wheels and scrabbling for grip. So you're gonna get good performance out of this vehicle. And it's gonna be important that you uh, give your drivers all the training that they need in order to be able to get the very best out of it. And as I think I've mentioned, the telematics that come standard with the vehicle will help with all of the driver behavior elements that are needed in order to get the best out of the vehicle. So I've got to say, actually driving the Iveco e daily is as easy as you like. It doesn't feel that I've got the capacity or the capability of seven tons on this vehicle. It is driving very nicely. The power is really strong, nice and silent. And do you know what? It's going to dramatically reduce my stress, if I'm, especially if I'm coming down from a 7.5 ton vehicle to this 7.2 van. The comfort levels, the well-being, the driving experience, all better in my book. So, what about the price then? The price of this vehicle begins at over 60,000 pounds and can run over the 100,000 pound mark for the vehicle that we, uh, the 7.2 tons, the lots of batteries and all of that kind of stuff. That said, if it meets a need in your business, it could be the very thing that you need. The towing, three and a half tons, the capacity up to 4.6 tons in terms of payload uh, in the Aveca e Daily, not this particular one. Of course, the, the, the electric charging capabilities and the, uh, all of the other elements to this vehicle are incredibly powerful as an argument. But anyway, you tell me what you think in the comments below. And obviously like and subscribe the channel for more videos just like this. And I'm just gonna say, have a great day, everybody.